I don't know anyone who doesn't somewhere deep inside of them know exactly what unrestricted eating would look like. like. I don't doubt for a second that if you could play a game where you pretended to be someone in recovery and walked them through the recovery process, I think you would absolutely boss that game. Like you would be high scoring it all the way. Like you know what you need to do. You don't, however, know how to do that and appease your eating disorder. You don't, however, know how to do that and avoid all the uncomfortable feelings that come with it. And the reason that that is, is because it's impossible to do recovery and avoid uncomfortable feelings. It's impossible to do recovery and avoid pissing off your eating disorder. So really hone in on the fact that one, you have what it takes to do it today you have the ability to get proactive on this. Like you don't need to go searching for resilience and commitment and determination and sticking power and all these skills which we need in recovery. You don't have to go searching for those at all. You have those in bucket loads. Just at the minute, it's all focused on your eating solid. You have the ability to wake up every morning and have the same damn breakfast every single day. That means that you have this ability to enforce the action, to wake up and have a recovery breakfast every single damn day. All you're doing is turning the direction of those innate skills that you've got from supporting your eating disorder to supporting your recovery.